So, it's from Teresa Eliera of FMR Bacola. And your question goes like this. What is your take on the creation of the Negros Island region? As we all know that our province has a diverse beauty of nature, culture, and a progressive state of society. But one thing that makes our province special is the bright smile of people. The people that unite as one and shows warmth and love towards another. And this is something that we should always take pride in. Thank you. Once again, let's go. And it's from Sunstar Bacolo. If you were a delicacy in your hometown, what would it you be and why? If I were a delicacy in our hometown, which is Cantonese, I believe that I would be a pineapple. Cantonese is famous due to our abundant crops and one of it is pineapple. And it connects to my personality because pineapple is sweet and so am I. Thank you. Ah, bah. Question number eight, and it's from DigiCast Negros, Miss Barbara Mijares. How would you market Negros Occidental to both local and foreign tourists? In the ever-changing world, we are all aware that social media and technology is very evident and also it is very useful in marketing our locality. I believe I would use social media to market Negros Occidental to showcase to everyone that Negros Occidental is not just rich of the people but also with tradition, colorful festivals and bountiful delicacies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Question number nine, and it's from Premier News Ventures. What makes your town or city unique from other LGUs, and how will you invite tourists to visit your own town or city? Aside from beaches comparable to that of Boracay and Singapore, I believe Kaoyan could offer to us people who utilize their natural resources for their livelihood. And that can evidently be seen in our thriving aquaculture, not in the sense of compromising our environment, but in the sense of giving back with the additional profit and resources that we earn with tourism. Which is why I urge everyone to please come and visit Kaoyan with all of its glory and I will be willingly, happily be your tour guide. Thank you. Thank you so much. What number that you have? I pick number one. Number one. Okay. Let's find out. It's from DNX News. So the question goes like this. If you are given a chance to promote the province, what particular Negrense food best describes Negrenses and why? And I'll translate it in Hiligay Nona. Kung gaan kasang chance nga mag-promote sa atong probinsya, ano ba lang nga particular na delikasiya sa Negros Occidental would best describe kita nga mga Negrenses and why? It would be piyaya. We all know that piyaya is a part of Negrenses culture. And if you taste it, and also, if you taste it, it feels like home. And also, piyaya represents Negrenses. That Negrenses is always mild in their faces. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And it's from XFM Bacola News. Your question is, how do you balance your career, community involvement, and personal life? As Alin I, I know that I need to work a lot, especially that I have seen a lot in my community, a lot, lack of assistance in children. And I know that I have a purpose and with my personal life, I always connect to the people of E.B. Magalona. I always find my purpose and that is to help children and that is to give them hope, serve them as their light, that even if life can be so dark sometimes, there will always be light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you. Okay, 14. Number 14. I love the energy. And it's from mm, Anonymous. So, your question goes like this. How do you stay confident in the face of criticism or negativity? Exempt. But always remember your strength. It's inevitable for us to receive criticisms. May it be constructive, may it be distractive or distractive. But what we can control is our mind, is how we think of ourselves. And always remember 
to echo your mind that we are powerful, that we have strengths, and with that, we can inspire others. We can be the change, and that confidence will radiate to others. Provincial Senegal. And Maayong Hapon once again. Question number five, and it's from K5 News FM. Many Negrense farmers are now affected by the dry spell. What do you think would help them in these trying times? Good afternoon. We all know that we are experiencing the rising heat index. And this heat index experience has or affects our farmers. So what can we do to help them first reflect on our actions and take action immediately? This action could be a form of initiatives by cloud seeding. This is an artificial catalyst to reinforce a rain in our system, in our environment. Because I do believe that, that we, if we catalyze and take action right now, we can have a micro effects in our society which could have long term. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up. Number seven. Lucky number seven. So let's find out. It's from Digicast Negros. Your question goes like this. What actions should be taken today to minimize the effects of the El Nino phenomenon in the future? As we have all experienced the wrath of El Nino, it is because of our unsustainable practices that exploit the environment. Our relentless pursuit for economic growth comes at the expense of our environmental degradation. That's why to combat El Nino, we need to start with ourselves. To change and transform the world, we have to change our ways, just like what Michael Jackson said in his song. If you want to make the world a better place. All right, once again, let's give it up for Lim Team. The last question, it's from an anonymous uh, friend from the media. What does beauty mean to you and how do you promote inner beauty? For me, a beauty isn't about how you look physically, but how you will influence people and how you empower them with your attitude. And I could be able to promote my inner beauty by joining Lin Ay Sang Negros and showing to people that beauty isn't about how you look physically, uh, how, what your body is, but how you can be able to inspire others that despite of what and who they are. Thank you so much, Lin Ay Sang Isabella. You know, all of our candidates have a lot to say. And it is from KBP Negros Occidental. Your question is, how would you promote the everyday culture in your province? As showers of God's creation, I believe it is our sole purpose to preserve and conserve not only our nature, but also our heritage and especially our culture. I believe that we could promote this everyday culture by sharing what we are truly as a person because I believe that we are the reflection of our culture and it gives us the identity. So this is also a celebration, the Panaan Sam Negros, it's a celebration of the different diversity of culture that clashes and unites. Thank you so much. Question number 13 is from Digicast Negros. Mm. Among the projects of Governor Mong Lakson under the Abanse Negrense Priority Development Agenda, where do you think you can contribute the most? I believe that among all the projects of our governor, one thing where I can contribute is in the tourism. Promoting the local tourist spots, to, um, promoting our own very own uniqueness, our own renowned local cultures. So, if I can be an ambassador, as I will be in the tourism because I believe that we all deserve to be recognized, we all deserve to be renowned, be famous. Avance, Negrense. The number 15. And question number 15 is from an anonymous friend. In your opinion, what is the most pressing issue facing young people today? And how can it be addressed? That would be mental health. I've always believed that mental health is as important as physical health. That is why as Negrosanons, we should know ourselves. We need to love ourselves first. 
And also, as Negrosanons, we need to be understanding because, after all, we are one, and we also are, we are one, and that no no man is an island. So we need to understand and share kindness. Thank you. Thank you so much. I picked question number six. Question number six. Let's find out. It's from DYHB RMN Bacolod. What is your opinion on the recommendation of the Bureau of Soils and Water Management against the conduct of cloud seeding operations in Negros Occidental in the spate of crop damages brought about by the El Nino phenomenon? Very challenging. For me, it is okay to use cloud seeding because this is an alternative way for us to combat what we are experiencing right now, which is the heat index. But we should always remember also that we people are also responsible of our actions to take initiatives such as planting trees because I believe that our micro actions can have a macro effects in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Number two, and it goes like this from the Daily Guardian. In relation to the Panaata Negros festival theme, if there is a promise that your government officials must take or must make and fulfill, what do you wish it will be? So, in relation to the Panaata Negros theme, if there is a promise that our government official must make and fulfill is to continue to support our agricultural sector as they continue to help progress our province. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Is question number? Actually, I haven't chosen this one because this is the last number that hasn't been chosen. Okay, okay. So this might be destiny. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't talk to me about <laughs> destiny. All right. So the destined number in your hand is? Lucky number three. Lucky number three. And it's from Rajo Negrense. As a Negrosanon, how can you contribute to the welfare of our farmers amid the challenges of the El Niño phenomenon and climate change? As someone who advocates for economic tourism, especially in the agricultural sector, I do believe that one thing that I could help these farmers is to promote water management and, of course, water segregation and proper use of water because through this, they could be able to uplift their crops, uplift their plants in order for them to sustain a life, not just for themselves, but also for their families. Thank you. Again, thank you. We're wondering what number did you pick? For the question and answer. For my question, I picked the number 12. Number 12. Well, let's find out. It's from our anonymous friend. What advice would you give to young girls who look up to you? My advice would be these exact words. I know that you'll go through a lot of challenges in your life, but I just hope that you do not compromise your own individuality. Life is ephemeral. And we should embrace our own uniqueness because that's the only time we can unleash our true potential, our true power. Thank you. Think number nine. Question number nine. Question number nine. And it's from XFM Bacolod News. How can we advocate more for animal welfare? I am very passionate about when it comes to animal welfare because I believe that empowering one another doesn't come in one form. It comes in many forms. As I grow older, being on a field of pageantry that grows beautifully within me, I always dedicate myself and my voice to uplift not just human welfare but the animal welfare as well because I do believe that the animals should be given, deserve, that they, the treatment that they deserve, the equal love and opportunities, the protection and the support just as we give to other people. Thank you so much. Again, uh, I'd like to break the ice. So what's the number in your hand? I have number seven. Question number seven. Question number seven, and it's from Panay News. Online gaming or gambling is prevalent nowadays with millennials as praise. If you will be crowned Lin Ai Sang Negros 2024, what advocacy would you lead to save your fellows from online gaming and gambling addiction? I believe that online gambling has 
been pervasive and alarming because of the accessibility of social media to the people and most especially to the youth. And the advocacy that I would use is that to use it in, as these advancements are available, I believe that we use it in moderation. And ultimately, I always believe that everything, too much of everything, is harmful. Thank you. That's good afternoon, Linaisa Escalante. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so each one of us has chosen a number randomly, and the number that you have is number? I pick number eight. Number eight. And number eight is from Sunstar Bacolod. Negros Occidental will be observing the Provincial Renewable Energy Week in the third week of May. Why is it important to have that we have to be aware and take part in this momentous observance? Recently, Negros Occidental launches a Provincial Renewable Energy Week and that there is an executive order which our governor signed in which it addressed the energy crisis which promotes the, sustainabil the sustainab sustainability and the energy security of our province. And as Sterling and I, it is my strong will of commitment to be the spokesperson to preserve and to, sustain to promote sustainability and... Once again, thank you so much, Lin Ai Sang Escalante. Let's find out. It's from DYHB RMN Bacolod. And your question goes like this. If you were to meet the so-called Sota Sang Kandaon, what would you tell or ask her? Sota is the, uh, the goddess or the, what do you call it? The goddess of the Mount Kandaon and he protects and the environment of this, of this beautiful city and he hates to destroy it and I would like to tell her that we are taking the response to all the to all the okay so once again thank you so much is number I think number two number two and we will find out okay so question number two is from from XFM Bacolod News, and your question goes like this. What is your opinion on the ongoing modernization projects in some cities here in our province of Negros Occidental? I believe that there's been a lot of modernization right now here in Negros Occidental. When it comes to transportation, we have highly urbanized jeepneys. When it comes to health and agriculture, we have a lot of highly technological equipment that can fasten the work of everybody. But as a future educator, I would like to highlight the education. Because we are now living in a 21st century curriculum where we are student-oriented and research-oriented, where we continue to compete globally and internationally. And in line with my advocacy, education for every child of a farmer. Number three. Question number three is from K5 News FM. If you could pick one underrated tourist spot in your respective town or city, what would it be and how are you going to promote it to entice our visitors? Good evening, everyone. I am very blessed to be living in La Carlota City, which is very rich in natural resources. Natural resources that can be considered as underrated tourist spots. Natural resources that can be considered as amazing destinations that are still yet undiscovered and undeveloped. And what I can do in order for me to help the government uh, promote this kind is to assist the government in the promotion of these kinds of activities. Thank you so Number six. Number six. So as we flash it on the screen, we have from Premier News Ventures, are you in favor of the transgender women joining any beauty pageant, just like in the Miss Universe beauty pageant? In this rapidly evolving and changing world, pageantry is also changing. And I think that including transgender women into biological women beauty pageant is never a problem because this boils down to inclusivity. Because the true essence of being a beauty queen does transcends beyond our gender, our age, and our societal status. Because what matters the most is how we uplift 
empower, inspire the people around us and how we fight for the, clo for the causes that are really close to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's from our anonymous friend. Your question goes like this. How do you define success and what steps are you taking to achieve it? Success is when you are able to do the things that satisfies you regardless if you lose or win. I have come this far and this is the biggest stage that I am in through my city and, and that satisfies me in a way that I can gain more experiences into it. So I believe success is synonymous to satisfaction. Thank you and good afternoon. Madam Salam is the number that you have picked. The number that I have picked is number one. Question number one. It's from Radio Negrense. As a Negrosano, how can you contribute to the welfare of our farmers amid the challenges of the El Nino phenomenon and climate change? As a Negrosano, I can contribute to our farmers during this time of El Nino by encouraging our government to act such as creating solutions such as the cloud seeding because it will help our farmers sustaining their products and with that in this little act that we can do we can do better for our farmers and with this we we can look forward for a better negros and a base negrense thank you thank you so much Chin number 10 and it's from an anonymous friend what qualities do you think are important for a Linai Sang Negros to possess. It is given that a Linai Sang Negros possesses qualities such as elegance, beauty, and intelligence. But most of all, I believe that a Linai Sang Negros or a Babaying Negrosanon is someone who has the heart and has the passion to promote sustainability in her community. She is someone who believes that Negros should be a safe and sustainable place for everyone, especially for the generations, for the next generation. For the next generation of Negrosanos. Actually, pick question number five. Question number five. Let's see, it's from Premier News Ventures. Your question is, as Lin Aysang Negros, how would you promote the Negros Island region as a major tourism and investment destination? Talking about the geographical and topographical features of Negros, I believe that this is an opportunity for us to break barriers and start bridging gaps. And with one Negros, I think we would also be able to empower our community and our, especially our tourism. And may I remind you that Negros Iron Region, we have done it before and we can do it once more. Thank you. One number 11. Again, it's from an anonymous friend. How do you envision yourself contributing to the beauty pageant community beyond this competition? As a future veterinarian and beauty queen, one thing that I contribute is my heart for animals. With a first-hand experience in working in the City Veterinary Office of Victorious, I am able to see the different hardships and challenges of our farmers, our pet owners, and our livestock racers. And with this, I will be able to use the platform to show the world and the women out there that there are animals that are in hardships, and I can be able to contribute in making a Negros a safer space for our animals. Thank you.